If you want to record stats in your video just like this, then you need to make sure that GPS is enabled in the Insta360 app before you start recording video. So to enable GPS, make sure your camera is connected to the Insta360 app. Tap the yellow camera button, then in the top right hand corner, you will see a cogwheel. Tap that and you will see three options. One of those options is GPS. So tap it to enable it. So now when you record video, it will record GPS data with your video. And then in editing, you can choose which stats you want to add to your video. The shot which you saw at the beginning of my video was shot with the 1R 1 inch edition on a head mount whilst I was riding my bike. Adding stats in the Insta360 app is super simple. So the first thing you need to do is open the footage you recorded stats with. And the first thing I'm going to do is trim this footage. So I'm going to scroll forward my footage until I'm on the road cycling, which is over here. So this is where I want my video to begin. So I'll tap the trim icon, tap the scissor icon. So this is where my video will begin. And I'm going to drag it all the way to the end of my shot where I stop cycling. And I'm gonna stop it just before I enter the park. Over here, tap the scissor icon. So this is where my video will end. Tap the tick to confirm. So now you have a trimmed video. I'm going to go to the start of this video and I'm going to tap the stats button to add stats. So here you can add various stats on your video. You can add the speed, the elevation, direction, total distance you've traveled, the slope and the route. And you can press play and you can see the stats at work over here. If you want to change your speed to kilometers per hour, just tap miles per hour over here and it will change. And you can tap it again to change it back to miles per hour. For now, you can't change the look of the stats, so it can only be placed where you see it on the screen at the moment. You can't change the color or you can't change the look of the stats, but maybe that will be a feature coming later down the line. So once you're happy with the stats that are showing on your video, just tap the tick to confirm. Since this is a very long cycling clip, the next thing I'm going to do is add speed so you can see my cycling journey in a short amount of time. So to do this, I'm just going to go forward one second and then tap speed. And I'm going to add 16 times speed and add it throughout my journey. and I'll stop it here just before the video comes to an end. Tap the tick to confirm. And now if I play back this video, you will see as the video speeds up with 16 times speed, so does the stats as well. The final step is to export your video with the highest video quality possible. So to do this, tap export in the right hand corner Tap the arrow button over here. Tap the cogwheel next to custom and make sure that the highest resolution, the highest bit rate is selected. Tap save, then go back. Tap the arrow, make sure custom is selected. And now your video will begin exporting in the highest video quality possible. And that's it. So here are just a few good things to know. It doesn't matter which camera you are using, whether it's the 1R360 mod, the 1X2, the 1R 1 inch edition or the 1R 4K mod, they can all record and display stats. In my video, I was riding my bike, so I used this mount to mount my mobile phone onto the handlebar of the bike. So when I press record on the Insta360 app, I'm going to get a strong GPS signal because there's nothing obstructing my mobile phone. But if I put it in my pocket, then there's a possibility that the GPS signal wouldn't be as strong and there might be some GPS cutout. If you find this rig too big, there are other ways to record GPS data. You can install the Insta360 app on your Apple Watch. And if you wanna learn how to do that, then check out my previous video. So on the Insta360 app on the Apple Watch, press record and it'll record GPS data with your video. 
And another alternative is the Insta360 GPS Smart Remote. So again, press record on here and it will record GPS data with your video. So that's how you record stats in your video. Enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.